So, this is my review for the Big Wasp Rotary Pin Tattoo Machine. And it's kind of like a part two. In the first video, I really went over a lot of the specs for this machine. You know, the weight, the length. Talk about the motor and all that good stuff. But in this one, I just kind of want to talk about, you know, what this machine is. Why I initially bought this machine. And the uses or whatnot. So, when I first heard, I seen that a big wasp pack came out with a pin themselves, I was excited about getting this machine. One of the main reasons is because I had already been using the big wasp needles in various sizes, liners, shaders. They make, you know, pretty good needles, um, amongst other brands that I like to use. But um, I was like, you know, if they know what they're doing as far as the needles, they should be able to make a pretty decent machine. So at first I bought this machine myself for my own money. And uh, after a while, you know, the company actually sent me one to review. So it's pretty cool. It's uh, Big Wasp and it's also Bronk and Hummingbird, like all together. So check them out. But um, this machine overall, it's a good machine. Uh, if y'all watch my videos, a lot of y'all know I really don't use these machines too much for lining. Um, typically I use them for shading. There's few that I do recommend for lining, but, but not very many. This one, uh, I believe the speed, it's rated around 8,000, you know, repetitions per minute. And, uh, this is pretty good speed, I, I, you know, for shading. That's cool. That's probably around eight volts. But, um, for lining, you know, I typically need something that's, that's much faster. So, but as far as uh, the machine itself, it's a good machine. This one is the one I've had, you know, for over a year now. It's it's running fine. It's never had any issues. Um, it shades great, packs color well. You just can't complain about it. It's a pretty smooth machine. It's pretty quiet. But yeah, so. When I got the machine, I was like, all right, let's put some big wash needles in there and see what it does. And it, it didn't it didn't disappoint. But like I say, you know, generally I use it for shading. So got some needles here. We'll pop one in. See, so needle goes in pretty easy, clicks into place, holds nice and tight. I never had one of these pop out on me or anything while I was tattooing. Until it's super quiet, smooth. And this is it right at eight volts. It's been a really stable running machine. It's easy to adjust. It doesn't have that click like um, some of the other machines I reviewed. The little click that kind of holds it in place. But just turning it, it pretty much stays where you need it. I haven't had any problems with it moving on me or anything. And you can take it out. Quick changes pretty easily. It's just the grip. Take it off. Just a drive bar in there. Has two O rings. But yeah, overall, it's, it's a good machine. I'd probably give this machine a four. You know. Bridges being reliable, it's pretty lightweight. Um, 
to give it a five, it would have to be like a, a machine that could do both. That could I would feel comfortable shading as well as lining with. So four is pretty good. So I know a lot of you guys out there watching thinking, oh, should I buy this machine? Is this machine going to turn me into a great tattoo artist? But it, the, the truth is, guys, you know, being a good or a great tattoo artist is more about your practice, your skill level, and your talent. You know, you could tattoo, you could pick up most machines and do a great tattoo. But as far as like somebody getting into tattooing, wondering if it's a good machine to get, I would say yes, it's it's a good machine. Um, would I do everything with this machine? No, of course not. But as far as shading, you know, color packing, things like that, it's a great choice. So... That's my review. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click that like button and subscribe.